Oh hi, my name's Megan and this video I wanted to bring you guys along with me throughout an entire week in my life. The UK finally lifted lockdown after like four months so I was able to get rid of all the cobwebs on the front door, venture out and enjoy life again. Oh and it was Carl's birthday too so that was kind of like an important thing to film. But anyways, stop that. let's start off with Monday. Never mind. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is I wake up Carl, even though he doesn't want to. <gasps> Good morning. Go away. What you doing in there? What a dumb question. You guys want to know a really bad story that I probably shouldn't share? So on Saturday, I, I got up and I just started making breakfast. And I just completely forgot to wake up Carl. So he wasn't awake until like 1030. And he was literally sitting here in the dark the whole time. And that was the first time I've ever forgotten to wake him up, but I remember feeling so bad. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I've left him in the dark. Every morning, it's the same thing. I gotta fill up a spray bottle, I have to fill up his dripper. Because chameleons, they be high maintenance. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least there's still some in there. So then I'll spray his entire tank down, water his plants, and sometimes he needs a little shower. He's about to go into shed, so that means he's going to shed all of his skin off. So he needs to be a little bit more. Look at that glare. Can you guys see that? This is the look he gives me when he's not in the mood. And then I take care of Waffles, who is probably my least known pet. He's my little ball python, and I have all these little stickers and blockers in the door because he literally is the biggest escape artist. Yeah, I don't know what's with me today in spilling stuff. Then afterwards, I'll make me and Francesco breakfast. So my favorite breakfast when I don't feel like cooking is Greek yogurt with bananas and raspberries. And because Francesco doesn't like this, I make him plain Cheerios. Which I've also managed to spill on the floor. I do not know how. Anyways, after doing that and making ourselves coffee, I'll then eat my breakfast and watch YouTube videos. Why do I look so pale? I swear, I hate my lighting. <laughs> it literally sucks. I just thought it'd be cute to film another week of my life because you guys seem to really like them. I really like them. And I feel like this week might be a little bit interesting because the UK is kind of coming out of lockdown. By kind of, I mean like they're opening stores. They're like trying to get everything back to normal. Um, so I decided that I think it's now the right time to maybe go volunteer again, which I'm kind of nervous about because I have to take public transport to get there, but I feel like, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just try it this week. And I'm really, really excited because I haven't been for months and I may not be able to volunteer there in the future because of school. So I really just want to like volunteer as much as I can before like I start. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to do that this week and then it's carl's birthday this week carl's turning one years old like how cute is that so i'm gonna give him like a little birthday party his birthday's on july 2nd like i don't really know if that's his birthday i didn't really ask the breeder but i just take it as like the day we got him which was november 2nd and he was four months old then so i'm just like okay his birthday's july 2nd i should actually phone the breeder but then i don't because then what if his birthday was actually like <laughs> last week and I missed it so I'm just gonna pretend it's like the second I really should ask them gonna be doing some grocery shopping may even do some shopping if I'm brave enough I don't really know if I am brave enough to go shopping yet but I am running out of my makeup I haven't bought anything I haven't even bought anything online because I'm just scared to like I really need some new foundation I'm just using this one which is this BB cream that I got for free from YesStyle, they gifted it to me. And it's not even my skin tone. But I'm just going with it. So yeah, how have you guys been? How's your week been? Are you currently out of lockdown? Or are you still in lockdown? I feel like it's kind of different everywhere now. I just want this pandemic to be over, you know? Oh, I feel like I'm out of breath. Like I literally am just sitting here doing my makeup. Oh yeah, I stopped working out. 
that's another thing. I know I was doing really good with my workouts. I was working out six days a week. I just stopped. Aww. I just like literally lost the motivation to do it. <laughs> so I'm like... So yeah, today I'm not really doing much other than filming a video. And then I have to edit the video I filmed yesterday. That's going up this Thursday. But yeah, I just feel like I really have to start making a lot of videos now that I have a lot of free time because starting university soon, we have to move. The lease is gonna be coming up very soon. So like, we just have a lot of really big life changes happening. So I'm trying to get a lot done now because I really will not have any time in the future. I don't know what's with me in spilling stuff today, but look what I managed to do to the carpet. Yeah, apparently I got like eyeshadow or something on my foot and when I was walking, it's made its way over there. So I don't know how to get rid of this. Who has carpet in 2020? Carpet is so dumb. I'm gonna try makeup remover and see if that... Help me. <laughs> Does anyone have any recommendations? Cause like... Not good. I then spent the rest of the day filming with waffles. Then a tiring three hours later, I worked up an appetite, ate some dinner, and played Dead by Daylight. And that was pretty much my Monday. So we can probably skip Tuesday because I literally just spent the whole day editing my video. And actually we can probably skip Wednesday as well because I didn't do anything different. Other than I ate Reese's Pieces and played with Carl. So if you guys are wondering why I'm like getting up so early and doing my makeup, that's because today is the first time in four months that I'm going to the animal sanctuary. I am so excited, but I'm really, really nervous because obviously we're still kind of in a pandemic. I haven't left the house in so long and I do have to use public transport, but I hope it's okay. I don't know, it feels like really, really good to go and I'm like really, really excited. I'm also getting ready because it's this little guy's birthday today. Oh, my oatmeal. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. My hair feels really healthy today. I really love the color still. I hate these bangs though. Like what what are those? What are those? I'm just gonna finish making my oatmeal quick and then I'll come get you when we wake up Carl. Happy birthday, <laughs> Carl! <laughs> Woo! One years old! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Happy birthday to you! Please stop. Happy birthday to you. I said stop. Happy birthday, Grumpy Carl. Happy birthday to you. Woo! So for his birthday treat, we tried to hand feed him wax worms, which are like junk food for chameleons, but he wasn't having any of it. So then I tried to put them in a bowl and hold it, but he wasn't having any of it either. It was only when I actually put it in the tank that he actually ate it, which is kind of rude. So then after that, I ventured out into the real world for the first time in four months. And bitch, I was actually so scared. Like, I literally was panicking. I was freaking out. But I was excited at the same time. with the Jamaican boas. If you guys didn't watch my other video where I was talking about like Jamaican boas and stuff, so all of these guys are wild caught animals. They're not supposed to be in the UK. They're not tame whatsoever. They're not used to people. So whenever you go into their territory, they can be a little bit more defensive because they're just not used to people. So I'm like 
kind of nervous, but I'll do it. Okay. So first attempt at holding a snake in like four months. It's not waffles. This is what I've managed to do. <laughs> There's a UVB light and he's uh, wrapped himself around it. Come on, buddy. I know it's okay. Oh okay, moving on. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, so if you can already tell by the name, Jamaican boas are from Jamaica. They're nocturnal, they live in trees. So holding them can be kind of a challenge because they instinctively want to climb up to your face. But they're harmless though. They're actually illegal to own and they're a protected species because they face a high risk of extinction in the wild, unfortunately. It's really sad, but over 90% of their habitat's been destroyed by human population. It's a shame because they really are so beautiful. I say that went okay. Time to put this little guy back. Okay, I just want to grab the camera just to show you what I'm literally looking at right now. So this guy does not want anything to do with me. He's in the classic strike position. I have to be really careful. He is about to fling himself at me. If I can just get him to walk away, it's okay. See, now he's retreating. So now I can actually go in and grab him. Boom. There you go. She's like, I am not going in that box, girl. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Okay, one, two, three. You guys, look, I'm holding a coral snake. Just kidding, this is a milk snake, which resembles the coral snake, which if you know, is like one of the most venomous snakes in America. But this guy is just a mimic. He's a fake. Okay, you can go back, I'm sorry, buddy. Who else shall I see? Oh, look at him. He's a little leopard gecko. I wish I could tell you guys some stuff about him, but I don't know anything other than he looks like a leopard and he's a gecko. She's a gecko. Yum. Did you just give me a kiss? Yum. Got a little bearded dragon, one of my favorite lizards ever other than chameleons. Oh my God, you are so adorable. I love bearded dragons because they're literally so so chill, doesn't care about anything, he's just relaxing, vibing, you can literally do whatever you want. So the reason why they're called bearded dragons is because this beard right here, when he's like territorial or he's really mad, he'll actually just like cough it up. So chill. I want one so bad, but their poop smells too much. There you go, thanks for chilling with me. Look how cute, he's a baby, hi. So this is a carpet python. So these guys are from Australia. This is a baby. They get really, really big. They can get like eight feet in length. They do have an attitude though, as you can see by this guy, look it. This is the typical S position. And if you see on his mouth as well, I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but he actually has like a bunch of slits on the top of his jaw. So that's actually heat pits. So he can actually sense me right now. He's not gonna bite the hook. He's gonna go for my hand because he knows it's like a heat source. I just want him to know I'm not gonna hurt him. Okay, now, now he's in a flight mode. Do you see that? He's switched. So now he's worried about getting away rather than biting. I can maybe get him off the hook. Hi, there you go. Look, not scary. He's going, look at him. he's going straight for my face. He's like, bitch, I know you're the one that's taking me out right now. I'm trying to do snake behavior. I don't want to hurt you. Stop. Oh my god, that was really rude. I didn't like that at all. I'm gonna wait a few minutes because I don't want to put him back. So one thing you don't want to do is when a snake bites you or tries to bite you, you don't want to put him back right away because that will actually make him think, okay, every time, oh, every time I bite, then I go home. So he's just kind of kind of like just chill with him. I'm just gonna let him chill. I'm not gonna touch him anymore. Okay, I'm gonna put you back. You've been out too long. Go on. There we go. Oh, that was not at work. <laughs> that was so fun. Look at him. He's ready to go. He's ready to bite. Can you guys see that? So mean. Then, not to bore you guys, I just was playing with other snakes. Ooh, that sounds kind of gross, isn't it? And that was pretty much the rest of my day. And then when I got home, I actually crashed. I was so overwhelmed. Like, 
I actually started to fall asleep as I was taking this in three, two, one. I'm finally feeling energized now. We're gonna now make a little birthday hat for Carl. Stop that. <laughs> Do you want it? Let me break it. Yay, Carl, it's your birthday! <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. One more. Ah, oh, Macarena. Good night, Carl. How cruel is it to go like this? Look at him. Good night. Then, to no one's surprise, of course I had to play Dead by Daylight. This is the same time that Waffles wakes up, so sometimes I'll grab him and I'll let him chill on me while I play. Okay, I think I am about to get my period because I literally just saw this video about petting, petting sharks like dogs. And just watching it made me cry. And every time she settles in my lap and I feel her weight over my legs, that is the most amazing feeling and there's nothing to this day that beats that an animal of that size to do anything or to sit in i don't know why but it just made me cry <laughs> it's so beautiful being a girl is just crazy like i wonder what guys think of us because literally we look like crazy bitches like we're literally sitting here we just start crying at everything they're probably just like what the fuck is wrong with me anyways I'm gonna go make breakfast. Hopefully, I don't cry about something. Sometimes when I'm, sometimes I just want to cry because. There's so many beautiful things in the world that just makes me cry. I don't know. I can't be the only one though. I know someone has to relate to me. Like, do you guys cry <laughs> like at everything whenever you have your period because it's it's becoming a problem, like literally. It's just gotten more intense as the years go on. Let's make breakfast because I need to get my ish together. Bless me. Oh my god, did I just almost face slam myself? This morning I'm gonna make bread with eggs and I hope we have beans. Do we have beans? Yes. With beans. This is like the breakfast that we have when we don't have anything in the house because we really don't have anything. But it's literally like, the best breakfast. So after I made breakfast, I sat down and watched my granddad's YouTube videos. He actually vlogs, you guys. It's so cute. And whenever I watch them, I just feel like I'm hanging out with him again. Um, so yeah, obviously because today I was feeling quite overwhelmed and emotional due to some things going on in my life that I haven't shared yet. Um, I just wanted to take the day to reset so me and Francesco got some McDonald's. We sat in front and watched America's Got Talent and it was so good. <laughs> I loved it. I feel like sometimes you just need one of those days where you don't do anything, you know? By the way, if you guys have never tried putting your fries in your burgers and then dipping it into the sweet and sour sauce, you are missing out. So you need to try that ASAP. Good morning, everybody. It is currently Saturday and today we go on shopping. And not like clothes shopping, grocery shopping. And actually, I'm going to do some makeup shopping too. Because I'm going to go buy boots on the way to Tesco. Yeah. I've always wondered, why is this fish yellow? Do you want to try it? No. Okay guys, so I just got home and I've laid out all the food on the counter just for you guys because every time I do like a little grocery shop thing in my vlogs, is that the right word to say it? You guys always ask me to do a grocery haul, so I'm like, okay, I'll give the people what they want. Um, so you guys can see like kind of how I eat throughout the week. So I'm just going to start over here, which is like the healthiest part of the haul. And then I'll go all the way down to the gross stuff. Okay, so starting with something that's actually not that healthy. We got cheese and tomato tortellini, which is what I'm actually going to make after I put everything away. I'm going to have this for lunch. Got some raspberries, green seedless grapes, three avocados, some eggs, bananas, which I literally have every single day. I uh, got some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, have some rocket, have some mushrooms, some mango, some asparagus. I already say bananas, yeah I did. 
Got some strawberries, zucchini, just some whole milk, sugar, oatmeal, bread, some salad, butterhead salad. Oh, I got some more avocado. Got some of my favorite toothpaste, which is the Colgate charcoal and white. Actually, this one's not my favorite. I like the coconut oil one the best. It's so good. But this one's good because it's supposed to whiten your teeth. And we all need some of that, especially me. Pasta, got some rice. I got this because we're gonna make burgers next Friday because obviously we just had McDonald's yesterday. I got truffle mayo because I am obsessed with Seven Bones. If you guys aren't from the UK, Seven Bones is a burger joint and they make this thing called truffle mayo. So I really hope that this tastes the same. I haven't had Seven Bones for four months and I'm really craving it, so... Next week when we have burgers, I'm really excited. Got some salmon fillets. I got two of them this week because every time I have salmon, I just wish I had more. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get two of them. Got some chicken thighs. Palant Chef meat-free burgers. Got some meat-free sausages. Got some chicken boobies over here. Got some chicken broth. So my friend told me that if you cook your rice and chicken broth, it tastes really, really good. So I'm gonna try that. Some like Lloyd sauce for pasta, like when we're really lazy in the week, don't wanna cook. Got some sesame oil. Got some olive oil. Got some rolls for the burgers. Oh, there's a hole in it. Or did I just do that? Some cotton swabs. Mozzarella. Feta cheese. Obviously for dessert, I have Reese's. Uh, I got these for my teeth because if you didn't know, I actually had braces for like, I want to say five years. And my teeth were so badly crooked at the bottom that I have a permanent retainer. Sorry, was that, that TMI? I just got real personal there. So like, it's impossible to floss my teeth there. So I have to use these to kind of scrub it. Oh, got some Parmesan for the pasta. These are Francesco's desserts for the week. He literally craves this every single week. They're like little kinder desserts that you put in the fridge, but I just do not like them at all. And that's rare for me to not like a dessert, but it just tastes like orange flavored yogurt. Anything orange flavored, I absolutely hate it. So, but he loves them. Oh, they have a coconut flavor too. They're called King Kinder Pingui. Got some chickpeas. Uh, I got some milk for my coffee, so I got the vanilla, almond, and hazelnut. These are really, really, really good, you guys. If you love to make coffee at home, you definitely have to try like one of these because they're really, really good. My personal favorite, I'd have to say, is probably... I want to say almond? But hazelnut's coming up real close. This one used to be my favorite, but now I find it's like a little too sugary. So just try, but you can't go wrong with these ones. Um, oh, I got some Faye Greek yogurt. Got these for desserts as well. They're the Bon Mama. Bon Mama Madelon with milk chocolate. These are really good. If you guys haven't had these before, mwah! French kiss. They're really good. Oh, sorry. Mwah, chef kiss. Got some garlic because there's like vampires and stuff. So always gotta make sure you got garlic. Fries when we have burgers. Got some Starbucks coffee because they were on special. So when I'm like, girl, I'm gonna treat myself with some Starbucks. Got some kitchen towels. Oh my God, did I just call them kitchen towels? Sorry, excuse me. I mean paper towel, like the Canadian I am, paper towel. Not kitchen towel. Did I say kitchen towel? Oh, it's kitchen roll. Oh my god, I'm like mixing in Canadian terminology with British. And some toilet paper. Do you call these toilet rolls? Let me know. Oh, toilet tissue? You guys call them toilet tissues? Who knows? I'm missing something. Oh, I also got these. I think I already put them away. Yeah. I bought these as well, which are jalapeno bites. They're literally a pound from Tesco, but they're really really good so i like to have these with my burgers too it's like the ultimate cheat meal okay so i'm gonna actually just put this away quickly and then i'll show you guys what i bought from boots super drug and robert diaz and i also have something else so let me put this away and then i'll show you guys some more stuff that i bought oh sorry i started putting this away as well but we bought spinach too i left this in the bag another thing i got from tesco was this which is just like a little notebook. I just really, really like to write in things, but I used up my other one, which is actually the first time I've ever used up a notebook. So 
I bought myself this one. This is all they had. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I like the purple. It's cute. Um, got my leftover pan of chocolate. From Boots, I got this. Just like hand sanitizer. I got this, which is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance medium coverage anti-pollution foundation which i've never used before and i don't even know this is my color so it's in the color 100 ivory which kind of looks dark but i'm pretty sure this is my color i don't know but i hope it looks okay because they didn't have any testers obviously because of coronavirus obviously because my other one's broken i had to restock on my l'oreal telescopic that i've been using for years and then from robert diaz i also got this which is a carpet boost shampoo for carpets. I hope this works because I have so many makeup stains as I was showing you earlier in the vlog. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I dropped even more makeup today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just always spill my makeup. So I really, really hope this works. If it doesn't, um, obviously I'll, I'll let you guys know in this vlog because I'm gonna do it later today, but if this doesn't work, can you please recommend me either like a DIY, actually probably not a DIY because I'm probably going to mess it up, but go down below what are some really good brands. But yeah, there's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't normally do it. That took a lot of work, girl. I had to like take the stuff, put it out, then put it back. But hopefully you guys liked it. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to cut the video here. I know I didn't do Sunday, but I literally just spent the whole day cleaning, editing my video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.